This is your guy, S.D. Booker, with the Toast to the Men. Before you listen to this video, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. Hit that like button. Let's go. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the Men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Are you selfish? You should be. Yes. I know the word selfish has a bad uh, connotation attached to it. But we all should be selfish under certain conditions. First, we should be selfish to make ourselves better, to bring out the best in ourselves. And really to get the best out of yourself, you have to be in isolation. You have to exclude yourself from the group to work on you. The, the true work is done by yourself in the dark. That's where the true work is done. When nobody's around, nobody's watching, I mean, we could take uh, Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, uh, for examples. Their true work was done in the gym, in the weight room, in the film room. Nobody around, no teammates around, working on their individual game, right? And then once they became the best individual players they could be, they grouped up with the team and it manifested, manifested into championships, into scoring titles, into MVPs, the Defensive Player of the Year awards, um, other accolades, endorsements. That's what it manifested into because they worked on individual sales, the individual game. You know, LeBron, he likes to do this uh, zero dark 30 during the playoffs. That means he's going to disengage with his social media channels or platforms and just focus on him, him alone, and uh, go dark. And that's where the light is, man. The light is in the dark. The light is in the selfishness, being selfish. All the greats, all the greats, all the kings, true kings are selfish. Now, I think you should be selfish with a purpose and with a plan and rooted in righteousness solely to make yourself better, to make yourself better so everyone else can reap from the benefits of what manifested. If you're not your best self, you don't add much value to the team. So we got to focus on us first, exclude ourselves, and then we can get back with the team. Now there's points in the year where I'll tell my wife, hey, we're not we're not going out uh for a few few months or maybe weeks, it all depends. I'm gonna focus solely on writing. You know, I'm writing uh, movie scripts, I'm writing another book, Palmer Christie. I got some freelance stuff I'm doing. I'm going to focus solely on that. So I don't have time to really give all my energy to all these different things. I got to focus on that. And I got to be disciplined every day. Disciplined to the routine I set for myself, to the schedule I set for myself. And so I go dark. I cut myself off from people. Um, I go dark, I get it in. But when I come out of that darkness, man, there's light. I've manifested something great. And um, she reached the benefits of that. Other people do too. So we gotta be selfish to focus on us. You know, yesterday I made a video about Focusing on yourself and, and the exchange of energy. 
right? The exchange of energy with people and storehouses. I mentioned storehouses that were storehouses. The storehouses are for surplus or extra. Well, if you're not, if you don't have a selfish component to you with a plan and a purpose, you're gonna just keep giving out of your storehouse and it's never gonna be replenished. Somewhere you gotta say no, no more giving. I gotta replenish, I gotta resupply, refill, refuel, and then I can give again. That's a form of selfishness and it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, that's not based on ego, that's rooted in righteousness. So, uh, yeah, be selfish at that point, but have a plan, have a purpose, and uh, you'll come out of that thing greater. You know what I'm saying? It's greater later. But you don't receive anything in this world, in this universe, and this is law, without sacrifice. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You cannot gain without sacrificing. I don't care if it's righteous or unrighteous or legal or illegal. You cannot gain without sacrifice. That's a law. That's a law of the universe. And uh, that's just the way it is, man. So, yes, you do need to be selfish at points in your life. Like I said, with a plan, with a purpose, and rooted in righteousness. So, uh, yeah, tell people no. Tell people no. It's okay to tell people no. It's okay to, to cut off from people so you can focus on you. And you'll be a better person for yourself and for others later. Yes, be selfish. It's okay. As always, from me to you, love. Peace.